listening to Live with Jason Rodriguez from the Super Elite Broadcasting Studio in Bridgeport, Connecticut, a community platform. Let's get started. I don't know about you, but I know I'm ready for a little bit of some super elite entertainment. I want to welcome each and every one of you to the show tonight that's watching. You guys already know how I do it. Every every show, I like to, hold on, let me take the headphones off. Ah, there it is. Every show, I like to, you know, play that reggaeton beat in the background. I wish my host, my co-host, uh, um, Giovanni Alvarez was here because we'd be able to do our little our little freestyle dance. But I know you watching, Gio. I see you want to check in. Gio already is on the timeline, um, sending out his greetings and, and and I know I know I know Gio is sharing um, the broadcast on his timeline right now. So listen, guys, welcome to the show tonight. This is my very very first show of the new season. This is the return. All right, this is the return, very first show of the new season. And um, as you can see, I'm in the new studio. And tonight, I really don't have a physical person here sitting beside me on what I always have called throughout the last four years, the hot seat. Tonight, I have two visitors or two guests who are going to be joining me virtually from the virtual hot seat. And um, for you guys who don't know, um, that's that's the way the interviews are going to be going for going forward. That's the way the interviews are going to be. My interviews will be conducted virtually from anywhere in the world with all type of different guests. Tonight, I'm excited because I have no other to open up season four. I have no other than actor, movie producer, movie writer, stage writer. Um, Mr. Joel and Nino Roman from the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut. He's going to be joining me on the show tonight. Joel is right there on standby. I can see him right now on the screen. He's going crazy. He's pumped up. He's amped up and he is ready to bust loose. But Joel and his, one of his, um, his actresses, um, on his stage reading, which is called God Don't Like Ugly, um, Destiny, she, she goes by the name of Des, Des, oh, oh, she, she, let's see. Dezizo, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, that sounds, nah, no, sounds kind of not good enough, but anyhow, Des, Miss Destiny, <laughs> Des is, she's saying, no, don't call me that, uh, Des is right there alongside Joel Roman, they're going to be joining me momentarily on the show after we take a commercial break, but listen guys, I want to welcome you to season four, every Tuesday nights at eight o'clock, going forward, this is the way, the way the show will be, uh, man, it's been, it's been a couple of months since, let me see, since I moved out of Bridgeport was in October, so October, no, it wasn't in October, November, so it's been about three and a half, almost four months since the last time I was on the air. I was on the air last Tuesday night, I had a special show for my mom, um, for most of you guys who already know, my mom passed away um, two weeks ago, and you know, I did a memorial broadcast in recognition of her, of her lifestyle, um, of just her being my mom. And, you know, it was a great, great time we had last week. I played a whole bunch of worship music. Um, you know, I had a lot of people watching. A lot of people were on the check-in, leaving your comments on the uh, in the timeline. Um, I appreciate, as I stated last week, all the love that everybody has shown me and expressed to me um, during the last two weeks. Um, a lot of people have called me, texted me, sent me uh, 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 emails. Um all types of different ways of communication. People have reached out to me and have expressed their condolences and have reached out to me to let me know that they're there for me. And if there's anything that I need, they're just a phone call away. That made me feel really good. And I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Whew, I said a lot. But this is Super Elite Entertainment. Um, this is a broadcasting studio. And... This show that you're watching is called Live, as you can see right behind me, with Jason Rodriguez. This is a show that I do each and every Tuesday nights. I start at 8 o'clock, and I try to bring you guys the best 
exclusive interviews with influential people from throughout the state of Connecticut and worldwide. Um, you know, if you know someone that should be featured on this show, someone that's talented, gifted, someone that's making a difference difference in our community, you can reach out to me. You can direct message me. You can send me an email and, you know, send me that person's information. And I guarantee you that in turn, I will reach out to that person and I will do my best to get them here on the show so that we can feature them um, on, on this live broadcast. So, yeah, so let's see. Uh, looks like Freddie is trying to make his way into the show as well. I'm gonna, this is kind of unique as well because I already don't have Joel, but I also have Dez, and I also have Mr. Fred. Freddie Mac, should I say Freddie Mac? <laughs> but I have Freddie. I don't know if Freddie can hear me, but uh, can you hear me, Freddie? Let me know. Can you hear me? All right, I think Freddie can hear me. But, um, yeah, guys, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When I come back, we're going to start the interview with Joel Roman, Dez, and Mr. Fred. When I come back momentarily from this break. Check it out. Check it out. This um, movie trailer that I'm about, I'm about to play is with no other than my co-host Giovanni Alvarez. He is going to be in a movie, which is called Sin Señal. Let's see. Can I find the trailer? Where is the trailer? I thought I uploaded it. Um... And hold on. I, I, listen, I promised you I was going to show it. Here it is, Gio. Sin Señal movie trailer. Here we go. Buenas noches. Para los que no me conocen, soy la doctora Stuart Kindle. Bienvenidos campistas, ¿están preparados para vivir una experiencia 100% natural? Pues ahora entienden por qué están todos aquí, ¿verdad? Yo no puedo entender cómo tú puedes estar pensando a estas alturas en lo mismo. Que tu mundo esté girando solamente con Facebook e Instagram. Ah, Snapchat y TikTok también. Y no me dejes afuera WhatsApp. ¿Es en serio? All right, you guys, welcome back to Live with Jason Rodriguez, broadcasting from the Super Elite Entertainment Studio. Um, again, I want to encourage you guys, if you're just tuning in, um, to please share this live broadcast into your timeline, upload the link, send it to somebody so that other people can jump in and be a part of this live stream. Tonight, I'm excited because I have no other than movie actor, movie writer, producer, director, Right from Bridgeport, Connecticut, Mr. Joel and Nino Roman, who is going to be joining me momentarily on the virtual hot seat. We also have Dez and Freddie, who are a part of the production that is called God Don't Like Ugly, a stage reading. Joel Roman, Dez, Freddie, they're all going to talk about it momentarily. They're going to break it down in detail. And um, they have a... An event that's coming up, I believe it's going to be out there in Manhattan, New York, in New York City. It's going to be coming up soon. So we're going to throw all of that information out there tonight. And we just want you to get involved. Ask them any questions that you may have. Um, let's interact. Leave your comments in the timeline. If you want to give a shout out, if you, if you have a question, you can put it in the timeline. And I will do my best to acknowledge that question accordingly. But I hope that you guys are ready. I have uh, Mr. Joel Roman. Let me get the right view going here. Let's see here, Joel. Let's start with, let's see. Let's go with this one. Let's go with that one. Let's go with that one. And let's go with that one. I'm going to bring all of you on the screen at one time. And then I'll, I'll, you know, I'll change it as we go along. But again, guys, here we go. I present to you 
the crew, Joel Roman, Freddie, and Dez. How you guys doing? Good. What's up? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jason, for having me. Hey, guys. <laughs> all right. All right. So, guys, as you can see, I have uh, Joel Roman. So, Joel, let's let's do roll call. Let's do a roll call. I want you to start oh. it off. Give an introduction of yourself briefly, and then Freddie, you be up, and then we'll end it off with Dez. All right. Let's go for it. Go for it, Joel. All right, everybody. Great to be back on live with Jason Rodriguez. I am Joel El Nino Roman. I've been acting for 21 years. Done shows in New York, California, Hollywood, off Broadway, all over Mexico. And now I'm in a point in my life where I'm creating my own work and bringing work here to Bridgeport. Yes. And that's why we're here to talk about the port, but also my stage reading in New York. God don't like ugly. Introducing Bridgeport, Connecticut talent. Woo! And I'm ready to talk <laughs> more, but I want my people to shine. Hey. All right. So let's go. Who's up next? Dez or Freddie? All right. Go. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Dez. I'm not Hi, sure why. Um. <laughs> Hey guys, um, I am Des, also known as Des Renee. Um, I am a local artist coming out of Bridgeport, Connecticut. Um, I've never acted before in my life. I've never been an actress, um, especially a main character. So this should be fun and I hope you guys do enjoy this play because we are working very, very hard. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> oh man, all right, so Joel. Let's um yes. I'm not sure what the situation is with uh with Mr. Freddie. Uh we, we can't hear him for some reason. So we're gonna have okay. to continue on with ourselves for right now, okay? Okay, sir. All right. So let's just jump right into it. Let's start talking about the production that you have going on. God don't like ugly. Let's start off with with the name. What exactly do you mean when you say God don't like ugly? I mean I I have a I mean, I'm a Christian. I have a, 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 a little biblical understanding of that term, but I don't know if if your your point of view of using that name is applicable to what the Bible says. I mean, break it down, Joel. God don't like ugly. Awesome. Yes. Well, God don't like ugly is about how the entertainment business can be a very ugly business if you don't know who you are in Christ. If you don't know your identity in Christ, then in your entertainment business or any other type of business, people will tell you who you are. And next thing you know, you'll be the yes person just trying to fit in and go chase your dreams without having your morals and just compromising and feeling bad. So God don't like ugly. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. So what motivated you to create this stage writing what inspired you joel and um you know it starts off i know thing everything starts off with a vision everything starts off with a dream but but what brought you to the point that you decided you know what i want to write a stage writing called god don't like ugly that's a great question what inspired me was i mean i've been doing this since i was 19 and i'm 40 years old now and i've seen a lot in new york hollywood connecticut and abroad and even myself personal experience how, you know, when you first start off in this business, you just want to be accepted. And you're willing to take almost any gig. And you might even compromise some of the things you believe just to get a gig, just to make some money, just to network. So I took some of my experience and some of my past experience with others. And I said, you know what? It's time to write this up. It's time to encourage the youth who a lot of people, especially now with Instagram, TikTok, and social media, how everybody wants to be famous and stuff. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes, you know? So it's, a, it's pretty much to educate them. Like, listen, know who you are. Mm. Because if you don't know who you are before you get into this business, people will tell you who you are. Agents, managers, promoters, publicists, the audience. And it's easy for you to lose yourself in this business. Because mm. one moment you're here, and the next moment nobody knows who you are. And that will make you sacrifice a part of you just to stay in the game. But see, mm. if you know yourself in God, you'll be like, hey, we're going to come and go as long as I create 
my own stuff and work, my stuff is going to come to me. My dreams mm-hmm. are going to come. I don't have to rush it. I don't have to compromise. I don't have to sell out. Yeah. So when it comes to God Don't Lie Ugly, would you say that this this uh, stage reading? Now, st- so is this like, is this going to be like a like a Broadway show type of deal? Woo! From <laughs> your mouth to God's ears, Jason! <laughs> hey, that, that's the goal and that's the dream, all right? Uh-huh. The goal was to have two of my plays running on Broadway at the same time. It ain't easy being godly and God don't like ugly. So the purpose of the stage reading is to get it in front of people and get their feedback and eventually get investors involved to help me put it up either on Broadway or off Broadway. So stage readings, mm. the, the actors, they have um, their scripts in their hand, mm-hmm. minimal movement, some sitting, standing, move around, and a little bit of costumes, not a little bit of props, but it's not a full production. It's the purpose of hearing the story out loud and walking you through my vision. And then on top of that, at the end, we take feedback from the audience, any questions, and hopefully investors that are in the audience who might think, hey, you know what? This is good to go right now. If not, then me as the playwright, I go back into the writing room and then I do rewrites and tweak Mm. the script again and then bring it back into an audience of just investors and then present it again. Mm. Excellent. So, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass the mic to Des at this time, and I want I just want to get her response, her feedback, um, and and what motivated her to get involved in this project. Because in order for people to get involved in your project and to you know bind themselves to your vision, they have to believe in what you're trying to accomplish, Joel. So, you know, my question to Des is, uh, uh, what motivated you, Des? To, uh, to jump on board and to be a part of God Don't Like Ugly? Um, I'll be completely honest. I, I didn't at first have the intention to be a part of it. I had shared one of his posts trying to get other people <clears throat> to be a part of it. And he was like, you fit this, you fit the main character. And I'm like, huh? main character no 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 no. that's not me i am not an actress i don't act <laughs> he's like no that's i see it i see it and then he started telling me a little bit about the you know the role and brownie and who she is and i kind of just stepped back and i was like who told you my life story mm. like you know so the character once i heard about who brownie was and how brownie acts and who she is as a person it was like I have to be in the screenplay. Like, I have to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, so after that, it just became a I have to do kind of thing. And then once I met Joel, I mean, you guys see him. He's a big ball of energy. So I was just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. And, um, you know, um, what's really impressive, man, is that Joel is, he's um, he's animated. Joel is... Um, you know, one of those that when he walks into the into the room, not that he demands uh, or commands attention, but, you know, he gets attention when he walks in any room. And, um, you know, yeah. Joel, it looks like um, we might have Mr. Freddie Noah joining us. So what yeah. I want to do, uh, what, what I want to do is I want to pull believe, Mr. I believe I'm in the building this time. Yeah, yeah, you definitely in the building. I can hear you. And um, let me just let, let's 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 pull him in with us into the picture. Here we go. Here we go. And here you go, guys. There is Mr. Freddie Nova. Fred, so we're gonna have to just Noah. N O A H. Noah. Like like Noah's Ark. Yeah, like like yeah, like like Noah in the Ark. Yes. Like leaving them two by two. Yes indeed. Hey um, Fred, so Really quick, I want you to just give a brief introduction of yourself for the viewing audience, um, just like Joel and uh, Je- uh, Des did. So, the mic is yours, brother. Okay. Okay, yes, indeed. Uh, real quick, my name is Freddie Noah, and, and to be simple, man, I, I'm a grown man with flaws, self-inflicted scars, still writing these jokes, trying to reach for the stars. And uh, I've been exposed to comedy and theater uh, since I was a baby. And uh, I tried to do a bunch of regular jobs, but my calling was to entertain and to do what I do. And that's what I'm doing right now. It feels good to do it. And it feels good to live my dream. Always prayed to get a foot in the door. Actually got a toenail. 
So I'm ready to get it started, baby. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it, man. So, so you're a comedian. I'm I'm an actor, comedian, writer, musician, poet. Yes, wow. indeed. Wow, I love voice it, man. Actor. Yes, oh, indeed. so you so you do voiceovers as well? Oh, yes, indeed. I do a lot of voice. I'm, I'm trying to get a lot of my short stories and my jokes turned into uh cartoon figures and i'm gonna do all the voices for them so i got a lot of things in the work so pray for me that i'm gonna keep it working and things are gonna go my way so it's about time you know that's all right that's all right brother yes, and yes. um you know i take my hat off to you because the entertainment industry is extremely challenging as all of you guys already know and um yes, you know getting your name out there ain't it can be very complicated at times. Sometimes people don't want to work with yes. you. People don't want to back you. Sometimes people don't want right. to fund you. You gotta, you gotta sell yourself. You gotta get people to believe in your vision and your dream. And um, sometimes, yes, like you, Joel, it's hard to get people to jump on board. You know, even with mm -hmm. um, the movie that you're you're working on right now called The Port. You know, you put it out there. You ask for the community to support you, and uh, you you made a fundraiser, <laughs> which you know at first it was looking kind of like. Woo, is he going to get there or not? Is he going to get there or not? But, you know, all I got to say is look at God. God backed you up. God supplied all your needs according to his riches and glory. God took care of you. God gave you exactly the tools and the, the backing, all the backing that you needed, he has given to you. But, uh, but Fred, I see on the, on the back, on the wall right there, you got a, a, a whole bunch of great superstars on there, brother. Yes, yes, this is all inspiration. I got everybody from Dave Chappelle, Bill Burr, Cat Williams, the late, great Bernie Mac, Patrice O'Neill, Deion Cole, Mike Epps, Godfrey. I got the whole list up here, and I got my gorilla spot over here. This is where the spot for gorillas, where everybody who works hard and going for it, those are my hey. gorillas. That's my gorilla squad. If you I work see. hard and you going for it, you down with the gorillas. So let's, hey. let's, let's go. Let's go. I see. Let's I see one. <laughs> I see one gorilla's on fire, and I see the other yeah, one is just sitting there thinking. Ready to go. He's protecting <laughs> the pack. <laughs> so, so question yes, for you, indeed. Fred. Um, yes, sir. What motivated you to jump on board this uh, stage reading with uh, Joel Roman called "God Don't Like Ugly"? <laughs> Funny story. Uh huh. Me and Joel worked together at McDonald's when we were about 15 years old. And even then, he said, you know, I'm going to write movies, I'm going to produce, I'm going to direct. And I said, you know what? I'm a comedian. I'm going to write jokes. I'm going to act. I'm going to bring drama and suspense and whatever we bring. And we lost contact. But throughout the years, we've both been working on our craft. Uh. And we end up coming back together through a regular Facebook message. Now, I don't do social media, but a friend of mine brought his message to me and said, hey, you have to jump on this. And I said, wait, I know this guy. I know his face. <laughs> and I contacted him and sent him some of my work, and he enjoyed it. And I was already sold because I know his energy. I know what his mission is, and I'm down for it, and I'm ready to get it going. Broadway, so here we come, baby. Hey, let's go. <laughs> I know I know I want I want a ticket, a free ticket to the red carpet premiere. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> yes indeed, cuz it'll be there. It'll be so, there. We'll so so really there. quick, Des, what's what's going to be your role in God Don't Like Ugly? Um, I play the main character Brownie. Um, she's I would say when you guys meet Brownie, She's going to be sugar and spice and everything nice. Hey. Um, however, she's very shy. She's very reserved. Um, kind of like me. Um, like I said earlier, she's definitely like me. Um, so me and her are like yin and yang. So it's not going to be hard playing her. But like I said, she's definitely sugar and spice and everything nice. Ah. Now, Joelle. The yes. The the uh the characters that that you selected for God Don't Like Ugly, where where did you come up with these characters? Are these like real actual people that that you knew at one time, or are these were characters that you that you created? Man, great question. Well, let me uh -huh. tell you something, Jason. God Don't Like Ugly has been in development for years. Like I created God Don't Like Ugly back in Virginia when I was living. Um, I'm gonna say about. Mm, almost six years ago, brother. All right. Mm. And yes, it's a mixture of people that I knew that I worked with in New York, in Hollywood, and people that um came up in the business and didn't make it, as well as other characters that I said, you know what? This would be fun. Let mm -hmm. me create this character 
based on this story. And what's funny is when I was in Virginia, we actually did about three shows of God Don't Like Ugly. Big shout out to Virginia. Um, <laughs> and people loved it, Jason. They gave me reviews. I mean, positive, and it was it was love. It was lovely. So I said, when I got back to Connecticut, I said, you know what? Now it's time to get it on Broadway. It was always Broadway vision, but now I'm close to New York. Now I said, but you know what? Before I run the show again, let me hold a stage reading and mm-hmm. see what the audience is saying out here. Uh huh. That's so, yeah. awesome. All right. So we momentarily lost Mr. Freddie. I see you back, Fred. Welcome back, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I might be my internet connection. I'm so sorry about that, guys. No, that's all right. All good. Um, we, we see you, you know, I, I can see everything that you're doing over here on my end. I see you, you, you know, you you hustling, you hustling, you grinding. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. All, all right, so listen, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break, all right? And then when we come back, we'll continue on with the interview, okay? All right, let's go. All righty. Buenas noches. Para los que no me conocen, soy la doctora Stuart Kinder. Bienvenidos campistas. ¿Están preparados para vivir una experiencia 100% natural? Pues ahora entienden por qué están todos aquí, ¿verdad? Coñazo. entender cómo tú puedes estar pensando a estas alturas en lo mío. Que tu mundo esté girando solamente con Facebook, Instagram. Ah, Snapchat y TikTok también. Y no me dejes afuera WhatsApp. Es en serio. All right, you guys, welcome back to Super Elite Entertainment. I'm your host, Jason Rodriguez, and I have no other than Mr. Joel Roman. And yeah. Nino, I have yeah. Mr. Freddy Noah, Freddy Noah and Dez. Um, you know, I got the whole crew, well, almost the whole crew from oh God Don't Like Ugly, um, a stage uh, reading that's going to be taking place. So, Joel, really quick, what I want to do is I want to throw it up on the screen. I want the, I want the viewing audience to see the flyer that you have. Here it is right there. That's the flyer for God Don't Like Ugly, written and directed by Joel Roman. This is going to be taking place April 16 at 7 p.m. The admission, extremely affordable. It's only $6. It's going to be taking place in the, looks like the Teatro Circular, 64 East 4th Street, 3rd Floor, New York, New York, in Manhattan. To purchase tickets, it's right there, guys. God Don't Like Ugly dot event combo dot com all that information will be put back on the screen later on after the show is over but uh but joel yeah man um i think i think that's a big move man i think that's a big uh power move that you're making right there taking god don't like ugly all the way to new york city that's not easy to do how did you accomplish that how do i accomplish that awesome um i've been doing this since i was 19 brother and one thing you got to do in this business, as I teach my actors, is you got to move. The body was created to move, people, okay? So I'm always on the go. I'm always networking. I'm always meeting people. I'm always doing something. I'm working, all right? I'm taking classes. Um, I'm teaching classes. I'm also an acting coach. And I meet people. So when I meet people, I ask them what they do. So as I was doing my show back in 2011, my first one-man show, It Ain't Easy Being Golly, in Bridgeport at Housatonic Community College, my director 
James Hinton Jr., big shout out, Bishop. He <laughs> connected me to someone in New York named mm. Veronica Casadillo, right? He said, Joe, because I said, James, I want to get this show out of Connecticut. I don't want to just do it here in Bridgeport. I want to travel. I want to get my shows on Broadway. He said, Joe, I took a class in New York with a lady named Veronica. She has her own festivals called the One Festival, her own film festival called the International Puerto Rican Heritage Film Festival, and she has her own theater. I said, what? Connect wow. me, bro. So <laughs> he connected us. I pitched her my show in Easy Bengali. Papa, that year, the day after I performed the Hudatonic, I took my show to New York City in her theater, Lower East Side, and I did three shows. My woman show in Easy Bengali are two hours, bro. And I play five characters. I did that. She loved it. And we still connected. Years later, I submitted my film, Purgatory's Table, to a film festival. And we got accepted, baby. <laughs> right? Cool. But there's stuff they know. Because, see, in the entertainment business, people, you got to stay connected. Mm. You, this, hey, you know what? Actors act. Entertainers, you have to act. Because guess what? Ain't nobody coming to you. You got to go to them. You got to rub shoulders. You got to put work out there. Because if not, guess what? Don't nobody know you. And you got to mm. post a lot. So that's what I did. So throughout the years, mind you, I connected with her back in 2011. It's 2021. And we still connected. And we check up on each other. So she sent a post out to her colleagues that she's hosting a stage reading series. I said, no, Mediga. <laughs> Get out of here. Yo, God is good. Because <laughs> it was perfect timing. I'm like, I just finished it in Valley. Mind you, we just won best play, best producer, best actor at the virtual front row fringe festival. So I'm already looking for my next opportunity. Another people, life is a series of opportunities, and there's a lot out there, but you gotta look, you gotta look, you gotta talk. So I'm always on the hunt, I'm hungry. So I found that as a bet. I reached out to her, I said, Veronica, I got another production. She already know my work, she knows it's good. So I sent her, all right, cool, send me the play. I sent her the play, she read it. She said, Joe, give me the date. I mm. said, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah, baby, we're going to New York. So big <laughs> shout out to Veronica Casadillo Productions in New York City, because she's helping us make this happen and bring it to New York. And um, we excited because she know people. Hey, Joel, this project, how, how big and how important is it to you? And how far do you want this project to go? I mean, oh. what, what's, what's, what's the ultimate goal here? How far do you want this thing to go? How big do you want it to blow up? Oh, I want this to blow up so big that we hit Broadway, right, Papa? We have yes. a good five-year run of Broadway and then take it to the road. Because see, Papa, Jason, my shows, what I create, whether they're plays or they're movies, um, it, I also use it as an evangelical tool. There's a message in my productions, all right? Mm. Just like there's messages in entertainment, in plays and movies and cartoons and commercials, there's subliminal messages. Well, guess what? I put subliminal messages in my entertainment. Mm. So God has blessed me with this gift, not just for me, but to inspire others and challenge other artists and evangelize and share the word. So I want to have a long run on Broadway. That's the goal. But then I want to take it like Tyler Perry. Take hey. it on the road. And I want to mm. use my people. You know what I'm saying? Who been with me from the beginning. Because it's all about connection, baby. All right? And we are stronger together than apart. Mm. So, yeah, I, I really see this as an evangelical tool. But it's what I love, too. So I want to so take it all over. So who who Caesar in the uh, in the uh, stage reading? Who Caesar? I'm Caesar. Whip okay. <laughs> so check it out. Am I too loud, guys? I'm excited. No, it's, it's all good. <laughs> okay, awesome. It's the Holy Ghost, baby. All right. So Caesar, this is a man who, who I've met a lot of people like this. All right, um, young people, older people who grew up in the church. Right? He grew up in the church, but when his needs and his wants 
weren't met right away by God, he felt like he was no God. So he lost faith in God, in the church. So he started being oppressed and depressed, and he didn't want nothing to do with God. Instead, he made himself God. And he said, you know what? I'm not going to call on something I can't see. No, instead, I'm going to call on me. And guess what? I'm not just going to go down this road by myself. I'm going to bring other people down with me. Whether they're believers or unbelievers, as long as we make money together, let's go. Mm. And then eventually, I don't want to give too much away. Eventually, he's checked by my boy Freddie. Pastor, you already know. Hey, hey, Joel, what, what's the possibility of maybe you guys giving us a sneak peek? Oh, that's a great possibility. Yeah. Oh, and, and just before we give you a sneak peek, I want to let you know. I'm, I'm in talks right now with two theaters in Connecticut, possibly bringing it to Connecticut. So keep praying, all right? In case you can't make it to New York, we might bring this show to Connecticut. Hey, hey oh, you definitely got to bring it to Connecticut. That's a hands down. <laughs> but yeah, we're ready, baby. You ready for us? <laughs> yeah, we ready, man. And we ready for a all sneak right. peek, man. I mean, it what do you think? I'm ready. Y'all ready? Say yeah. How about Des? Des, you ready for a sneak peek? I give y'all a little some some. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, Freddie, you ready, right, Fred? I'm I'm, I'm always ready. I, I don't know if my internet connection is working. I don't know if y'all can see me. I'm ready. I can. <laughs> well, we we, we can see you. We, you. <laughs> we can see you. We can hear you. But your lips didn't move okay. when you were just talking. But all good. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Okay. Here there you go. go. There you go. Now you're back. There you go. <laughs> All right, so let's go with that sneak peek. Who's going to go first, go. or is it all together? We're going to go all together. I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to introduce them. Okay, go ahead. I am Caesar. I am the CEO for Soul for Riches. You see, I want you to know something about Soul for Riches. I'm all about looking for people. See, I'm going to introduce you to a soul right now called Desensitized. He signed his soul away to me for money. You see, whenever I bring these sensitize out into the world, he makes people laugh. See, desensitize is to make sensitive. Yes, less sensitive. Because we live in a sensitive world where people don't want to think. They want people to think for them. You see, they like to be entertained with reality shows, dramas, other gossip. <laughs> So they won't focus on their own drama and gossip. When I call these sometimes out, he makes them laugh and makes them forget all about their drama. <laughs> Desensitize, loco, ven aquí. Tell the people how happy I made you and make them laugh. Mm. Okay. I guess Desensitize is not with us right now. That's okay. Brownie is another soul. See, I won Desensitize. But Brownie is a Christian artist I'm working on. Brownie, let the people know what's up. Since my dawn, I sing my praise. So I will talk to you. It was all for you, but I grew when I thought that you don't believe in me. I was taught not to lie when I pray, but I put this song over you. Go ahead, girl. I see you. <laughs> and that wow. is, y'all don't like ugly, baby. That's awesome. Hey, uh, just to let you know, you have a really nice voice. You can sing. Thank you. I'm a, I actually do this for a living. That's what I was telling Joel. I was like, I'm not an actress, but I can sing. Ah. And he was like, well, you're brownie. <laughs> you're brownie. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So, she, so you say you're not an actor, but you can sing. But taking on this role, now you've become an actress. 
So, you know, that's 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 another so notch under the belt. Fun fact about me. Yeah, fun fact about me, I did um I went to high school for musical theater. Um I never made it as a main character. I was always the ensemble, the choir, the chorus. I was always something along those lines, never the main actress. Mm. Um so this time like me being a phenomenal singer, um and having an you know a couple of lines, I feel like you know, why not take that chance because uh-huh. in high school I didn't have it. <clears throat> mm. That's awesome. And um, I became brownie. Hey, <laughs> all right. We're gonna bring Mister. Uh, we're gonna bring Mister. Freddie back into the picture with us. We lost Freddie momentarily, but he's back. Here he is. Yeah, I am so sorry. I know y'all just threw with me. I'm. Just- <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> hey, Freddie. I'm, I'm at the lowest part of the place, so it's like my internet connection is pretty, pretty funky. So, hey, sorry Freddie, about before, that. We, before we lose you again, me and Desiree did our part. Do your part. Go for it. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll preach to you a little bit. All yeah, right. So listen, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you the whole camera, Fred. I want you to shoot for it. You ready? Here you go. Go. Okay, yes indeed. <laughs> because you already know, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, huh? I play pastor, you already know, huh? Church, let me tell you something, huh? When your friends huh, ain't treating you like they used to, huh? You just look up and say, huh, you already know, huh? If your friends look at you like you shouldn't be with God, you let them know, huh? You gotta step back because you already know, huh? And if you huh, try to sit back and look at me like something's wrong with me for being with the Lord, you just let them know that I already know that Jesus is the one. So you can go ahead and kick rocks and walk that long New York block. Hallelujah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. You already know. Hallelujah. To wipe the sweat off this big old forehead. You see the grease. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> 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 Don't pay me no mind. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. You guys, you, I, this, you got, you guys are awesome, and I know that the uh, God don't like ugly. Uh, um, uh, stage reading is just going to be an amazing, amazing time. You know, and that's why we're on here to encourage people, whether, you, whether you're in New York, Connecticut, New Jersey, wherever you may be. We want you to come and be a part of this great spectacular, this great event. And, uh, you know, Joel Roman and Freddie and Dez is looking for as much support as possible. Um, Joel, a project like this takes finances. It takes money. But also, I'm sure if a person don't have, you know, monetary contributions to give towards the project i'm sure that you can uh maybe they can donate some time get involved yes yeah yes all that volunteer all that helps yes Mm -hmm. we appreciate i mean even just word of mouth like Mm -hmm. letting people know sharing Mm -hmm. them you know a lot of people from new york live in connecticut and Mm -hmm. a lot of times they go back and forth so if you know people out there encourage them to come out you know, mm. be, a, be a marketer, promote. We should always promote each other. Everybody, your next door neighbor got a business. Support them. You know, we should always be sharing it and showing love and pointing people in their in their direction. So I ask you, if you can't make my show, then volunteer some time by just sharing, sharing the post. Yeah, share the flyer. Tell them, especially all the churches out in New York, Lower uh-huh. East Side. You know, mm-hmm. this is great. Reach out to them. Youth groups in Connecticut. Hey, why not make this a different event? Huh? You know what? You might not be able to get everybody in church, but people love to be entertained. That's right. Bring them into the theater. They'll That's get right. some church in here. They'll get some work. Hey. Trust. So thank you for anything. <laughs> no, definitely. So so basically the show's a one hour show and we're starting to wind down. Um but what we're going to do is we're going to take another quick break. I'm going to show our good friend Giovanni Alvarez's uh, movie trailer. Gio is in a, in a movie called Sing Señal. In English, I believe that's called Without a Signal. Um, so it's, pretty, it's a pretty, really, really nice production. And I know the yes. movie's going to be a hit. And Gio, I know you're watching. You better make sure that you put me, you know, a couple of red carpet premiere tickets to the side. Because I'm going to be rolling up there with the whole God Don't, I, don't Like Ugly crew and entourage. Yeah, yeah we coming through. We coming through. Hey, Gio's in the court, too. G- 
Yeah, yeah, that's right. Gio is in the port as well. He's one of the actors that's going to be in the port. So, yes. listen, you know, you know, it's just I'm I'm really honored to be able to to be a part of of what you have going on, Joel, uh, Freddie, and Des. Um, this small little piece that this small little opportunity that I was able to provide, you know, to provide you guys with to get the word out there, man, is um, you know, I feel really, really honored and grateful to be able to do such a thing. Especially at a time like this, man, we're able to just go live all over the world with the click of a button and everybody can see and hear and, and be informed wait, wait, of what's to come. Oh, we're live right now. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> this is not recorded. This is live. We got a lot of people watching you. We're live on Facebook and we are live on YouTube, brother. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, uh-huh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you thought this was recorded? I thought this was going to be recorded and edited. No, man, we're live, baby. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm always ready. I'm always ready. <laughs> he said, this is live. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take a quick break, guys, and then when we come back, I'm going to give each and every one of you three an opportunity to give your final words, and then we're going to get up out of here because I know I'm hungry, and I know Dez is hungry as well, right? Okay. <laughs> I, got, I got some grits and some uh, Jimmy Dean sausage on the stove. I'm ready to go. I hey. Know that, hey, 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 <laughs> te text me your address so we can swing through. Bang. Right. <laughs> we'll, okay. we'll be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Buenas noches. Para los que no me conocen, soy la doctora Stuart Kimble. Bienvenidos campistas. ¿Están preparados para vivir una experiencia 100% natural? Pues ahora entienden por qué están todos aquí, ¿verdad? Yes. puedo entender cómo tú puedes estar pensando a estas alturas en lo mismo. Que tu mundo esté girando solamente con Facebook e Instagram. Ah, Snapchat y TikTok también. Y no me dejes afuera WhatsApp. Es en serio. All right, guys, there you go. Sin señal. You guys get to, uh, you know, make sure that you get out there and show our good friend um, and my co-host Giovanni Alvarez some support. That movie's going to be coming out. Um, um, Gio, when exactly is that movie coming out? Put it in the timeline so that the people can know. But that's going to be in pretty much every theater that is out there. That was the movie trailer. So just imagine the movie itself. Um, you know, I think it's in only, I think it is in Spanish, but maybe they could put the subtitles in English so that you could be able to, uh, to watch it as well. But again, I'm back here with no other than Joel and Nino Roman, Freddie Noah, and also Dez, um, all of them are a part of an amazing stage reading, a production that has been created by Joel, actor Joel Roman, called God Don't Lie Ugly. Joel, uh, hold on, let me put you back, make sure your mics are on. There we go. Everybody's mic is back on. Um, but yeah, you know, yeah, Fred, we are live right now, brother. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, so what I want to do right now is I want to go through the lineup, Joel. Now I'll, I'll, I'll uh, you know what? I'll start with Des, and then we'll go to Fred and end off with you. I want you guys just to give your final words, um, in regards to God don't like ugly, in regards to you know your career, what direction you're going in, what can we expect out of you, you know, um, from from here on out. The floor is yours, Des. Go for it. All righty, um, I have a lot going on, so try to keep up. Um, let's start off where you guys can follow me on Instagram, sing like Des, follow me on Facebook, Des Renee. Um, I have a lot of shows coming up. I have a lot of tours coming up. Um, my album is dropping pretty soon. I have a, a lot, a lot of songs that are on there. Very beautiful songs. Um, but I also have the none, the other, God Don't Like Ugly. I am playing the main character, Brownie. Um, mm -hmm. one thing I would like to say as Brownie is if anyone, whether you're an entrepreneur, someone who's just, you know, maybe a little on the Caesar fence, you know, mm. kind of like, you know, my, my wants and needs aren't met when I want them to be met. I challenge you to come see this play. 
Mm. Um, I feel like this play, even if you're like, God, whatever, whatever, you know, a lot of people are like that. Um, I am not a full blown Christian. I cannot say that I am very religious, but I have a relationship with God. And I feel like that is the best relationship anyone can have. So if you're on the little fence and you're, you know, you're feeling a little, uh, come see God. Don't like ugly check Brownie out. Brownie can definitely channel the inner doubt in you and, and bring it out. Mm. Love it. Love it. Well said Des. And I wish you the best. Um, you know, I, I pray that you have an amazing longevity career in the, uh, in the industry, whether it's singing or being a part of projects like this and, and yeah. being a part of other, you know, movies as well in the near future. But, you know, congratulations on being selected to be a part of the, uh, God don't like ugly crew. You know, thank you, Joel, for, for picking her and for making her a part of your, uh, creation and that voice that voice alone is what's going to enhance the whole entire project. I guarantee you that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Yeah, definitely. All right. So listen, we lost our good fr our, our good brother, Fred, but there he is. He's back with us right now. So let's pull you back into the picture, I'm Fred. Hey. <laughs> yeah, and we we're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> so Fred, what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to give you the opportunity, your final words to the viewing audience right now. We're live. People are watching. Drop it like it's hot, uh, brother. Okay, yes, indeed. I'm gonna make it short. I'm gonna make it sweet. Um, if 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 you want to come down and see us, man, April 16th, I don't like ugly lower side New York. If you want to see the funny, we'll bring a little bit of money. If you want some drama and suspense, bring a little bit of dollars and cents. And I tell you, you're gonna have a good time. Enjoy the characters. Enjoy the perspective of the characters. And enjoy the message, man. Joel wrote a great great play and a great thing going on so come on and support man we're going to show you a good time baby let's bring it on hey i love that all right joel really quick your final words because we're about to get up out of here brother shoot go for it jason thank you again for having me we appreciate you and your audience guys april 16th all right 7 p.m lower east side new york god don't like ugly it's a great play with a great message all right god don't like ugly dot event combo dot com mm -hmm. All right. Mm. If you can't make it, share it to your people. Tell them. All right. There goes the flyer. And before I leave, I want you to know I'm still casting for the port. So follow me on Facebook, Joel Roman, and on Instagram, Joel Roman 21 for the roles that I'm looking for. I'm hoping and praying that by September we'll start filming. But that's only if I have the cast that I want. Mm. So submit to you, send me your pictures inspirational productions for at gmail.com and follow me and see what's happening because the next big thing is the part which hey. <laughs> all right man well joel thank you so much brother thank you for coming on to coming on to the show tonight uh thank you for your winning list for for just just everything you do man you're a great inspiration you're a motivation you're an encourager and uh just thank you thank you for coming on to the show tonight fred is an honor brother Thank you yes, for coming indeed. on as well. Yes, thank and, uh, you so much. I, yep, and Des, I'm thank you as well. Sorry, my internet is on life support, but you know we're gonna keep praying. <laughs> 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 we're gonna keep praying. <laughs> we go, <laughs> yo, we 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 gonna make we gonna make Fred an appointment with Comcast ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> you need a you need to get rid of that frontier, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh man. Hey, hey, but thank you so much, guys, for coming on the show tonight. Hey, Des, thank you as well, and I wish all of you great success. All right? Awesome. All right. You. Thank, thank you. you. So all right, you. guys, so thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Again, I'm your host, Jason Rodriguez, broadcasting from the Super Elite Entertainment Studio. And, uh, man, what a time we had. I want to thank Joel Roman again. I want to thank Des. I want to thank Freddie Noah. Guys, get out there. Show your support. Become a part of the event that they have going on, which is called God Don't Like Ugly. It's going down in New York City. Um, it's going down April 16th at 7 p.m. It's only $6 to be a part of the event. $6 is the admission. Uh, for more information, visit GodDon'tLikeUgly.EventCombo.com or you can hit up Joel Roman and Neo Roman on Facebook, on Instagram. You can go and check his website out. Uh, Joel was all over the place, so go and check him out. 
And if you have any questions, Joel will respond because he's like that. He's really prompt. I want to give a big thank you to all of the viewing audience. I see you, my co-host Giovanni Alvarez. I see you, Janice Tavares, Angel Maldonado. I see as well, Jolanda Alcevedo, Raquel Alvarez. Um, who else? Elsie uh, Mercado. I see you watching as well. My uncle is watching way out there in North Carolina. My uncle Tito Annabel Rodriguez. He is saying, my cousin is on fire. Straight out of the port. Love you, cuz. Love Uncle T. Um, Gio is saying, yes, yes, yes. Let's go, Joel Roman. Good for you, God. Keep moving forward. Uh, Bridgeport, Jay Smooth is saying, Jason, what's up? How you doing, Jay Smooth? Thank you for tuning in tonight. Mike Oliver, professional boxer. Mike Oliver is watching as well. Anna Robles is watching. Michael Perez is watching. Um, Ardila, Ardila is watching. My, my niece, Christina Diaz, is watching. Pedro Acasio, my childhood friend, he's watching as well. And my cousin, Caelis Roman, she is saying hello. She is watching all the way out there in Puerto Rico, in Cagua, Puerto Rico. What an honor to be able to have people and family and friends watching way out there in Puerto Rico. And I see also uh, Mari Ramirez is watching as well. So, you know, thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. We'll do it next week, next Tuesday night. We'll have another person on the virtual hot seat for an amazing exclusive interview. If you know someone that should be featured on the show, hit me up, direct message me, send me an email, reach out to me one way or another. If you know my phone number, send me a text message, send me that person's information and I would love to get them on the show and be a part of this platform. Joel, Roman, and Nino, thank you so much, brother, for coming on to the show with, with your entourage. God Don't Lie Ugly is going to explode and is going to make a damage in the entertainment industry. See you guys next Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Thank you so much. I, pre I truly, truly, truly appreciate all the love and all the support. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the shares. See you next week. And thank you for watching on YouTube as well. God bless.